So now that the majority of us, I'm assuming, have seen the new The Batman movie, personally I've seen it three times already, now I thought it would be a good time to start talking about some theories for what could potentially be going on in the sequel. Now today I'm going to talk about my top five theories for who I think will be the main antagonist or villain in the next instalment. I'm not going to be talking about full plot points or storylines for the next films, I'm just going to be talking about who I think will be the main villains. I'm going to list these from least likely to most likely. There will obviously be spoilers for the Batman in case you haven't seen it in this video, so you have been warned, let's get into it. Very quickly before we get started guys, I'm really happy to announce that channel memberships are now available on this channel. So if you are looking for a way to support the channel, then that's a good way to do so. All you have to do is hit that blue join button and you can pick between four different tiers. It really does go a long way in helping the channel. If you can't do it, of course, that's not a problem. Your views, likes and comments mean the world to me. But if you want another way to support the channel, that's the best way to do so. Okay, onto the list. Number five. The Penguin. Now, obviously, Oswald Cobblepot featured quite heavily in the first instalment of the Matt Reeves universe. But, just like I said in my review, I think Colin Farrell absolutely stole the show every time he was in a scene. He was just brilliant. And, of course, one of the final sequences of the movie shows the Penguin looking out over Gotham as Batman's voiceover says something along the lines of new bad guys rising up. That is obviously a misquote, but you get the idea. Now, seeing as this was literally something shown at the end of the first instalment, you might think that it's a pretty obvious way forward for part two. The Penguin is established, he was well received by fans, and the character literally has a criminal empire just waiting for him to take control of. However, the main reason I would say that this is the least likely is because not only has he sort of had his movie, he was after all featured quite heavily in this first instalment. I would probably say he has a similar amount of screen time as the Riddler, perhaps even more. But there is also a Penguin HBO Max spin-off series in the works, which has now officially been confirmed by DC. It's set in the same Bat universe, so I can only really see them using him as a side villain in future movies, with his main stories being told through the show. Number 4. The Riddler and the Joker Towards the very end of the movie, we clearly had a cameo appearance from our new version of the Joker. He suggests that he and the Riddler can be friends. And this is actually very reminiscent of a recent story arc from the comics called The War of Jokes and Riddles. It could be that the two team up to try and bring down the Batman, or maybe, like in the comics, their fallout could essentially cause a war through Gotham. To give you a brief idea of what happens in the comic story, Riddler manages to break out of prison by blackmailing his guards while the Joker is a little different, unable to even crack a smile as he sought to find anything that would make him laugh. Riddler approaches Joker with a proposition to kill Batman together as a mutual threat and the thing that has deprived both of them of the joy that normally came with their criminal activities. Spurning the Riddler's offer though, the Joker nearly kills him, resulting in a war breaking out across the city between their respective factions for months. There is of course way more to the story than that and I highly recommend checking it out, but with Catwoman also being very heavily involved in this storyline, I feel like it's a strong possibility as inspiration for the sequel. Number 3. Mr. Freeze Now, I don't really have any strong story evidence for this one. This is purely on the list and fairly high on it because Matt Reeves straight up said that he would very much love to do a realistic take on Mr. Freeze in a potential sequel. I am personally all for this. The last live action movie version of the character we got wasn't particularly great, let's be honest. But with Mr. Freeze's story being so good since his sort of rebirth in Batman the Animated Series, I think he could make an ideal villain for this universe. He is relatable, well, sort of, but he's a character that has real life motivations and uses not so real technology, making for a very fun character in a comic book movie. Also, I recently seen a fan casting for him with Mads Mikkelsen playing him, and I would be all for this. I think Mikkelsen would be a fantastic antagonist across from Pattinson's Batman. In fact, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I want it. Warner Brothers, make it happen. Number two, The Court of Owls. Now, this one was almost number one for me, 
Being a more recent addition to the Batman universe, the Court of Owls was created by Scott Snyder in his new 52 run for Batman. The Court are essentially an underground society that are secretly behind, well, pretty much everything. They have assassins called Talons, which are awesome, and there isn't really anything supernatural about them, once again fitting the setting perfectly. They are also along the same lines as the first film, following the theme of corruption, this time on a much larger scale. And I think it would be interesting for them to reveal that perhaps Bruce's parents were involved with the court. That could make for some really great storytelling. Could this version of Bruce really deal with that sort of reveal? Personally, this is my number one pick, either for the second or third part of the Matt Reeves trilogy. Number one, Hush. Now, I made a video about this last week. There were actually multiple hints about this character in the movie. And then, if you've seen the post-credit, well text, you will have seen that a web address flashed on screen. This website takes you to a page that has you answer some riddles. If you solve them, you have access to a zip file that contains the video that was made by the Riddler in the film, showing the corruption of the Waynes. And again, that huge Hush text comes up on screen. Personally, I think Hush would make a great villain for this universe. Similar to the Court of Owls, he's a villain that sticks with the theme of corruption in Gotham, again playing with Bruce's past because Hush was a childhood friend of Bruce and basically fell out with the Waynes because Thomas Wayne saved his father from dying, something that he was mad about because he actually wanted to inherit his fortune. It's pretty dark, but again, bringing up Bruce's past, something that this version is clearly very sensitive about, could work fantastically. If you want to know a little bit more about Hush as a villain or perhaps the potential of him being the villain for the next installment, then you can go and check out my last video on the channel. I go into a bit more detail on it there. I'm very curious to know what you guys think about these. Are any of these likely to you, or do you think it will be a different villain entirely? Let's get a discussion going in the comments down below. I would also like to revisit this video when we inevitably get some more news about a potential sequel in the future, maybe in a year or so, and see if any of them were anywhere near being right. That's it for me today, my friends. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget, you can now support the channel by hitting that join button if that's something you're looking to do. But if not, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content and return to the Batcave for more Bat content. See you guys.